everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a very special quick shot. This is one of my Holy Grail G.I. Joe toys, which I acquired recently. This is the 1982 Sears exclusive Cobra Missile Command Headquarters. This piece is very rare for two reasons. First, it was only available at Sears in 1982 and 1983, so it did not have a large production run. And this playset is entirely made of cardboard. So as you can imagine, not many of them survived playtime. I am so thrilled to have this piece. This is the last piece I needed to complete my 1982 G.I. Joe toys. I recently showed this on social media. I was missing a few pieces. Well, since then, I have acquired a couple of the missing pieces, and now it is nearly complete. It is only missing one piece. It is only missing one of the seats for the control panel. I even have the instruction sheet. I have the file card holder, which is often missing on this thing. And I have the three file cards that came with the three action figures that were included with this playset. I'm going to go handheld for a moment so I can show you some of the details on this playset. This playset was produced very cheaply and quickly in 1982 because Sears wanted an exclusive exclusive G.I. Joe playset from Hasbro, but it takes quite a bit of time to produce a plastic toy. So by going with cardboard, they were able to produce a playset quickly and cheaply, and they just included the three Cobra figures that were available at the time. No exclusive figures here. This playset came with three figures, the basic Cobra Trooper, the Cobra Officer, and Cobra Commander. And in 1982, it would have been the straight arm versions of those figures. And at the time, I believe it was the only way to get the straight arm Cobra Commander figure at retail. This figure was otherwise only available through a mail away offer. The earliest releases came with the Mickey Mouse Cobra Commander with the simplified Cobra emblem on his chest. Later releases would have had the Cobra Commander with the more familiar Cobra symbol on his chest. Since this playset was also available in 1983, the 1983 releases would have come with the swivel arm versions of these figures. And that includes the swivel arm Cobra Commander, the more common one that was available at retail. This playset had a unique feature. It came with a file card holder that was made to hold the three file cards for the three figures that came with the playset. Now this may seem a little odd, but actually some of the other early playsets included accommodation for the file cards. The 1983 3 G.I. Joe Headquarters Command Center had a space for file cards, and the official display case also had a space for file cards. This file card holder, like the rest of the playset, is made entirely of cardboard. We are not dealing with durable materials here, so it is very easily damaged. Uh, it holds the three file cards for the three figures. You've got a Cobra Commander, a Cobra Officer, and the Cobra Trooper, at the time just called Cobra. These are all red back file cards and the figures that came with the Missile Command headquarters were sealed on the backs of the file cards in bubbles so the red back file cards that came with this playset should have tear marks where the figures were torn off of the backs of the cards uh, as opposed to the red back file cards for mail away figures which would not have that. The playset had a couple moving parts. It had this elevator platform which could move up and down and it could slide over over, and a figure would fit in there. The other moving part was this cruise missile, which was hinged, and I actually have a little bit of mounting putty to give it some extra support. It is pretty flimsy because, again, it is cardboard, uh, but this missile would move up and down as well. All of the details on this playset are drawn, and they're not bad, but this is obviously an attempt to keep costs low and to streamline the design and production so they can get it out quickly. It looks like like it's portraying a background of kind of like an underground base and of course a missile that will rise and launch although the missile doesn't really launch it's attached to the playset but the whole thing is very James Bond like even though this is a very simple cardboard playset it actually has several layers and it has platforms on which you can place the figures so even though this is a very simple construction it does have a few play features the final detail we're going to look at is this
this computer control panel, which is pretty well detailed, and it has seats, and an action figure can sit in the seat. He has to kind of straddle it uh, so he can sit at the computer terminal. It should have three seats. I have two, uh, but the third seat is identical to the other two, so I haven't quite decided yet if I want to track down that seat or if I'm going to be satisfied just having two. That was a quick look at the 1982 Cobra Missile Command headquarters. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there is a lot to say about this playset, but I'll have to save that for a full review. And this is really special to me, so I will have to save the full review for a special occasion. I am thrilled to have this. This was one of my holy grails. I wasn't sure I would ever have this toy. Uh, they are very difficult to find at any price, let alone for a reasonable price. But now that I have it, I look forward to sharing it with you. I have a feeling this is a toy that a lot of G.I. Joe fans may not know about. That was just a quick look at it for now. We do have full G.I. Joe toy reviews every week on this channel, so please subscribe to see those. Thank you to my subscribers and my patrons for making these videos possible. Please find me on social media, on Facebook and Twitter, and my website, hcc788.com. I will see you soon for a vintage G.I. Joe toy review, and until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.